When comparing the top five U.S. fighter jets to the top five Chinese fighter jets, we're not just talking about machines. We're talking about two different philosophies of air combat and national defense. Each jet tells a story about its country's approach to air dominance. And in this video, we're going to dive deep into what makes each one unique and powerful. Let's start with the F-22 Raptor. This jet is like a shadow in the sky, almost impossible to spot even for the most advanced radar systems. The F-22 Raptor is an American twin-engine, all-weather, supersonic stealth fighter aircraft developed and produced for the United States Air Force. It first flew in 1997, and at about $150 million per unit, it's one of the most expensive fighter jets in the world. But that price tag comes with some serious advantages. The F-22's stealth technology isn't just about making the jet hard to see. It's about making it nearly impossible to target. The special coatings on its surface, the way its body is shaped, and the fact that it hides all its weapons inside, all of this makes the F-22 a ghost in the sky. Now let's compare that to China's J-20 Mighty Dragon. This jet is China's answer to the F-22, designed by Chengdu Aerospace Corporation. The J-20 first took to the skies in 2011, and it costs around $110 million. The J-20 is stealthy, too, with its own radar-absorbing materials and sleek design. But many experts believe it's not quite on par with the F-22. The J-20 is good, no doubt, but it doesn't quite reach the level of invisibility that the F-22 has mastered. Next, we have the F-35 Lightning II, another gem from Lockheed Martin. If the F-22 is a specialist, then the F-35 is a jack-of-all-trades. This jet isn't just about sneaking past the enemy. It's about doing everything well. Ground attacks, air defense, reconnaissance, the F-35 can handle it all. It first flew in 2006, and depending on the variant, it costs between $80 million and $100 million. The F-35's stealth capabilities are highly integrated into its design. It's like the jet was built from the ground up to be undetectable, with its radar-absorbing materials, internal weapons bay, and low observable airframe. When you compare it to China's FC-31 Jirfalcon, the differences start to show. The FC-31, developed by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, had its first flight in 2012 and is expected to cost around $70 million to $80 million. The FC-31 aims to be China's equivalent to the F-35, but it's still in a development and hasn't fully proven itself in the same way the F-35 has. The FC-31 has solid stealth features, but whether it can match the F-35's versatility and low observability is still up for debate. The F-15E Strike Eagle is another fighter that stands out for its sheer power and endurance. This jet, which first flew in 1986, is all about delivering a heavy punch over long distances. At about $87.7 million, it's built for missions where speed and range are crucial. However, unlike the F-22 and F-35, the F-15E isn't about stealth. It's more of a brute force approach designed to get in, deliver its payload, and get out. This makes it more visible to radar, especially when compared to stealthier Chinese jets like the J-20. On the Chinese side, there's the J-16. This jet, also developed by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, first flew in 2011 and cost around $40 million to $50 million. The J-16 is based on the Russian Su-30, but with significant upgrades in avionics and weapon systems. While it does have some stealth features, it's not in the same league as the F-22 or F-35 when it comes to radar evasion. The J-16 is more about versatility and strength than being invisible. Then there's the F-A-18EF Super Hornet, a workhorse for the U.S. Navy. Built by Boeing, this jet is designed to operate from aircraft carriers, handling both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. It first flew on November 29, 1995, 
and costs around $70 million. The Super Hornet does incorporate some stealth features like radar-absorbing materials and a reduced radar cross-section, but it's not a true stealth fighter like the F-22 or F-35. It's more of a reliable, all-purpose jet that can handle a variety of roles. On the Chinese side, we have the J-11B, an upgraded version of the Russian Su-27, which first flew in 2006. The J-11B costs about $30 million to $40 million and is built by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. While it has improved avionics and engine performance, it's not a stealth aircraft. The J-11B focuses on power and performance, making it a strong contender in air combat, but more detectable by radar than newer, stealthier jets. Finally, we have the F-16 Fighting Falcon. This jet is a true veteran, having first flown back in 1974. It's one of the most widely used fighter jets in the world, known for its agility and versatility. The F-16 costs around $30 million, making it a more budget-friendly option compared to the other U.S. jets. However, it doesn't have the advanced stealth features of the F-22 or F-35. It's more detectable by radar, but its low cost and reliability have made it a favorite among many air forces around the world. On the Chinese side, there's the J-10C, which first flew in 2013. The J-10C costs around $40 million and has improved stealth features over earlier Chinese jets. It's not as stealthy as the F-35 or F-22, but it's a significant step forward for China in terms of reducing radar visibility. In the end, it's clear that the U.S. and China are approaching air dominance in different ways. The U.S. has focused on creating jets that are not just powerful, but also incredibly hard to detect. China, on the other hand, is rapidly catching up, blending advanced avionics and stealth features with a focus on cost effectiveness and versatility. The real question isn't just about who has the better jet. It's about which strategy will prove more effective in the skies of the future. Each of these jets, whether American or Chinese, represents a different path to air superiority, and understanding these differences is key to predicting what the next generation of air combat will look like. We hope that you like these comparison. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel.